Hello, my name is Cindy Cusack. I am the physiotherapy manager in the Rotonda Hospital in Dublin, Ireland. In this next video, we are going to look at some stretches and exercises that you can do on a daily basis, both during your pregnancy and after giving birth. If any of these exercises or stretches cause you pain, you should stop doing them. This first exercise is learning how to engage your core or lower tummy muscles. In any resting position, take a slow, long, deep breath in, allowing your tummy to rise. As you breathe out, gently draw in your lower tummy towards your spine, as if you were giving your baby a hug. As you become more confident in doing this, you can increase the time that you hold your tummy for up to 10 seconds. Release and repeat 10 times. Make sure you are not holding your breath. This can be done by counting the seconds out loud. Try to get into the habit of using this technique, engaging your lower tummy muscles every time you start to move. Whether it's rolling over in bed or getting out of a chair or lifting something. This exercise is learning how to do a pelvic tilt on the gym ball. Your starting position is sitting upright on the ball. Keeping your hands on your knees, tuck your tailbone underneath you and roll back, curving your back. And then sit up straight, sticking your bottom out to increase the curve in your lower back. And relax back into a neutral position with a small curve in your lower back. You can repeat this forwards and backwards tilt five times. The next exercise is a lumbar rotation on the gym ball. To do the lumbar rotation exercise, sit on the ball and roll your hips around as if drawing a circle. You can do this a few times and then change direction and repeat a few times. Women with pelvic girdle pain tend to have some tight muscles. There are several stretches you can do to help reduce the tightness and relieve some of your symptoms. You can hold each stretch for up to 30 seconds and repeat them a couple of times per day. To stretch the muscles of the back that connect towards your pelvis, sit on a chair or on the ball. Make sure you start with an upright position and that you are comfortable. Put one hand on your hip and bring the other arm up over your head while stretching towards the opposite side. Hold this stretch and bring it back. And you can repeat the other side. Stretch up over your head and reach. Hold the stretch and come back. You can repeat this five times. Often women with pelvic girdle pain also experience pain in their buttock or down their leg. To stretch out this pain, you can sit again on the chair and cross one leg over the other so that your ankle rests on the other thigh. With your hand, gently stretch the knee downwards. You can repeat this stretch with the other leg. However, this might not be a comfortable stretch if you are experiencing pain at the front of your pelvis. The camel stretch. This is a nice stretch for your lower back. Position yourself on the floor on all fours, keeping your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Make sure your back is in a neutral position with a very gentle curve in your lower back. Fix your eyes to one point looking down. To start the exercise, tuck in your tailbone, stretch your back upwards as if bringing your shoulder blades apart and drop your head. Hold this stretch as high as you can for three to five seconds and come back to a neutral position. You can repeat this five times. Another nice stretch you can do from four point kneeling. If your right buttock is sore, stretch your right knee in front of you till your right foot is in front of the left thigh. 
stretch the left leg back and hold this position. If you would wish to stretch further, rest down on your elbows and place your head on your hands. You can hold this stretch for 30 seconds. To release, lift your head, bring yourself back onto your hands. Slide the leg forward until you are bringing yourself back into four point kneeling. Women who have pelvic girdle pain tend to have tight muscles around the pelvis and legs. It can provide relief to gently massage those muscles. You can do it using your hands or a tennis ball or a spiky massage ball. Using heat and ice. Ice can be useful for pain around the pubic symphysis. That's the bony part at the front of your pelvis. Placing in ice in the form of disposable ice packs or frozen sanitary towels outside the underwear for about 15 minutes three times a day can help reduce this pain. Similarly, heat in the form of a hot water bottle for 15 minutes can greatly improve pain in the lower back. You should not use heat around your tummy. We hope that by changing the way you move or you do your activities on a daily basis and the stretches and exercises, you have found some benefit from the advice we have given you. However, if you find that you're still not any better, it is important to seek help from your healthcare provider or your women's health physiotherapist.